welcome back everyone again with this awesome tutorial where we are going to create this kind of effect can make different use of this like making a logo reveal or making something other things reveal etc etc first i'm gonna show you with the basketball how we can do all that stuff i will show you how i did the logo as well so let's get started so we have to like of use the geo node editor so let's just split the view and bring in the geo node editor now selecting our ball we can just click on new and we have a new geometry node so this is really going to be really really easy there are no complicated node system here the first thing that we are going to do is use a uh, distribute points on faces so that we can replace those points with the particles later so let's just connect this to the mesh right here and we can connect it back here but to connect back we will use a joint geometry so, so for the shortcut to bring in the joint geometry what you can do is press ctrl shift and right click drag from this group input to distribute point on faces and you will see joint geometry happening now for the starter i'll just set the density to 1000 so after this let's just replace these points with the instance on points and for the instances i have already a collection made up of three types of stones so i will just bring them in and then connect it to the instances so as you can see all of them have been spawned the first problem is that at a point all the three rocks are being summoned so what we can do is click on the separate children and reset children now random are being generated also make sure to pick instances where the random rocks will appear at random points now if you're wondering how i made this stone so basically i'll just show you right now i'll select one stone and show it to you so this is how i made the stone so what you can just basically do is just add a cube to your scene out go to edit mode add some geometry like you need it and just move it around like that so you can change around with the shape so it looks like a really hard gold shaped stone now that there are tons of tons of these stones being summoned but i actually don't want it to be this way to fix that what we are given is the power to select the selection first of all i'll bring a empty in our scene which will be a sphere empty so i will just place it right here for now so to utilize this empty we will get the distance between this empty and the mesh of our basketball so let's just bring in the empty right here and if you see the location you can drag it out and search for distance and connect it right here now for the data of our mesh then we'll use the position node this will find the distance between the, our mesh and the empty now we can use this data to directly connect to the selection as well right now but nothing is actually working for well, we'll use a math node and set it to add if we change around with the result we can see something happening like this also make sure to set it to relative so that it happens at the exact position of this empty now this is not the type of result that you saw to fix that in between we'll use a color ramp get the result we saw in the render so with this i'll add another pin in between and the last one i will change it to the black now if we bring both the left black and the right black towards the white one so if you change around with the result now you see this happening now with this we can get even more better result also if you connect the same thing to the scale you will get more better result as you can see giving us a more varied result i would like to do same for the rotation as well so i will use a line rotation to vector connect this to the rotation nothing is happening for the rotation i will connect the rotation right here and after that what i will do is use a random value node and set it to vector and connect it to this vector right here and make sure that the minimum is set to minus one and the positive is set to plus one as you can see you are getting a very result if we disconnect this you get a lot of similar kind of result which is not looking really good so if you change around with the value now you can see really good effect i've made them compact for now because it was getting clustered so let's increase the density to 2000 because we want more stuff and we can narrow down this even further if you would like to and we can also reduce this value down because i think the 
objects are looking too big for right now so i just don't want it to be like a circle growing around i want some differences going on like weird shape forming with this growing effect so i can use this duplicate this add node use a noise texture right here and connect it to this value so for the scale i'll set to 2 and i can change this to 40 to get different kind of result by changing w value so first of all let's just change this value as you can see this is getting different so if you change around with the w value you can get varied result of your growing effect whichever would you like and if you start if you make it even grow even further you can see the different shape forming while it's growing you can reduce down the roughness and the details now with this our result here is complete in the geo node the rest we are going to do inside the shader node but before we go ahead into the shader editor we have to store some data so for storing some data i will use store named attribute so the gradient we created right now this one and this one we want one without the color ramp and we want one with the color ramp so we'll store them accordingly so i'll store the first as g which is gradient and second one will be our cr which is color ramp so connect this gradient to this and connect with color ramp to this and we can use them in the shader editor now so let's switch to the shader editor i can just split it right here so by default we have this kind of texture applied to our basketball we are not going to use any of this stuff here it is just for the basketball by default what you are going to do is just duplicate this principal bsdf Control shift right click drag and use them mix shader to connect them together now we are going to set our new material on this as you have seen that golden type of material let's switch to the shader editor so let's create that really unique texture first after that we can apply that gradient where the inside of this growing thing will be that golden golden and the outside will be the default black so first we will need to create that texture and we will use Voronoi for that Voronoi texture I will set this to 2D and use the shabby shape whatever it is set the scale now to 300 for now I will reduce down the roughness and that should do after that we will need the texture coordinate I can just use it from the default this thing use it right here for this Voronoi texture we using texture coordinate and mapping connect this to the vector and after that we are going to connect it to the normal but to connect it we will use the bump for that and connect it to the height of the bump and connect the normal to it and you can see but that is not right set the scale to perfect which should be like that and reduce the randomness to around 0. Point. that would be good also i have rotated the give the rotation of uh, x and z to 45 so let's just only visualize this texture by control shift left clicking on it so this is kind of looking like this also let's change this color to kind of a golden so i already have a hex code for that i'll use that hex code and just paste it right here make it full metallic and reduce the roughness to around here this much should be good enough this is not the similar type of thing that we saw in the render so use a color ramp just after the warmite texture so that we can pinch out that so it was kind of like this yep exactly like this now we have that perfect material that we are going to use so let's go back to this mix shader now to get that gradient thing working i'm gonna just use is a attribute node ping it right here and we're gonna connect this factor to the factor to get started working on it we can just copy this g from here and paste it right here nothing is happening right now because again we have to use a color ramp for that we can duplicate this color ramp paste it here and get started with it adjust until you see the perfect result going on and that is some kind of like that only now we are reaching there but there are a few more things that can make it even more better for that would be the displacement for the displacement we are going to use that color ramp one because you will not why bring in a displacement node connect it to the displacement and everything is effed up so let's use that attribute node bring in first the cr you can just directly type the color ramp connect this factor directly to the height and in between what we are going to connect is the color ramp to fix the result also let's just reduce down the scale 0.04 because right now it's 
really messing up you can change the mid level if required so as you can see there is something happening on our ball right now why is there no displacement why the thing is not growing up because the thing we have to do is go to the materials and in down in the settings make sure you have enabled the displacement and bump first of all in your materials that only it co is gonna start working also next what we am gonna do is just adjust the color ramp towards the left and get the perfect result we want it is growing up where the particles are being spawned it is too powerful right now for me so i'll just drag it out get more varied result what we can do is use a math node just before the color ramp set it to multiply and here i can use a noise texture connect it right here directly and set the scale value to around 50 so if you zoom in so if you zoom in you can see some dose of distortion going on it would look like something is really growing out and it looks really nice also if you notice the particles that i've used some these are black stone some are gold stone and some are green as well so with that we can get a result which has a really good variety also your displacement thing is not working properly that means your object doesn't have much geometry as i'll show you right now my basketball has a lot of geometry so it's working really well and that way you will get this kind of result after this what's left is just to animate it and uh, you will get a really really good result just to animate using this add value uh, one more tip that would be make sure change around with the mid level if you take the mid level too low your particles will disappear so make sure it is around 0.3 so that the particles will stay on the top now let's switch to the logo thing that i have created right here so what is exactly the difference here there is no little difference just one thing that i just did that is going to the materials and in the materials as you can see there is nothing different only difference right here is i have just turned down the alpha of our original material if i turn it to the one you can see the original object appear so if you want to make it look like it's being revealed or your logo being appeared you can just reduce down the alpha of the original material and just keep the golden material or whatever type of material you would like to appear and that is how i got the logo reveal effect I hope this tutorial was really really fun for you guys and you might have learned something really good today. If you did, please do make sure to subscribe to this channel and give a thumbs up and also comment down if you have any doubts. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you with my next beautiful video.